It was sometime in the early part of 2006 and I was already familiar with Counter-Strike when my best friend had sent me a message on ICQ. It was an IP address which when I joined led me to a strange server that was on an unusual map. It was KZ Costco. I remember it like it was yesterday and thinking to myself, what the hell is this? What am I supposed to do here? So we started checking out the map, trying to complete it even though neither of us had the skill set required to even attempt it. So later this day, my friend who sent me the IP had told me there was a community for these types of maps, and it was called Extreme Jumps, where players from the world over could compete with one another. He explained it how speedruns on these maps work, start the timer and finish the map as quickly as possible, while using various jumping techniques. Simple I thought, but to be honest, I was initially not impressed with the game and lost interest soon thereafter. I had pretty much forgotten about the game for about 3 years after that, until one day I randomly joined a KZ server. Something was different this time. I felt the game welcome me back, as if it hadn't forgotten about me the way I had forgotten about it. And as you are all aware, once you bind plus jump to the mouse wheel, this is where the journey begins. When I had began to visit the XJ site on a regular basis, my passion for Creed grew tremendously and solidified a deep connection with the game on a level like never before. This in turn is what led to me accomplishing something I could have only dreamed about prior, conquering my first world record. After watching about 20 demos, I came across one that just sort of stood out to me. It somehow felt different, like it was special in some way that I could not quite identify. So I began learning the map, attempting to find new possible combos that were not in the original demo. And yes, of course, tons of failing during this period. There was indeed a time that I thought about giving up, but the map always had a way of pulling me back in. Then, on a cold winter's night on December 9, 2011, I had finally managed to break my first world record with a demo on KZSK Pro Climbing, previously held by the legendary Soul FTW. I had been the first person to succeed in landing 255 long jump block, the first person to be up a 247 block and the first to land a 272 unit weird jump. But as I'm certain most of you aware, earning a world record is an entirely different task in and of itself. At this point I was tasked with determining which map would best suit my abilities, a process where I began to feel somewhat hopeless. It was at some point during 2013 when I decided I would attempt to take a world record from the most recognizable modern day Creed player there is, Luli. I wanted the record so badly that I spent almost 800 hours just grinding this single map. The map in question, KZRD Old Mine. The run itself wasn't anything too difficult and Luli's demo time wasn't all that spectacular, it actually seemed easy enough. Somehow though, I would always manage to fail at least somewhere every time. I told myself that it was all psychological and that I only needed to surmount the mental pressure, this block in my mind, and I would have the map and it will be done. Then, on December 28, 2013, it was written, but for some reason I felt nothing, just total emptiness instead of satisfaction or pleasure. I guess the enthusiasm just faded away. My 273 double count jump, which tied the world record, is unquestionably my greatest accomplishment during the time I've been playing Creed's. That jump, along with my first world record on Pro Climbing, are two memories that will remain etched into my brain throughout the rest of my days.
When I decided to record my very last demo, a strange feeling embraced me, even though I had invested a huge sum of my time and efforts in the game and didn't want to waste my skill. At this point, I felt that it was time for some change. I'm currently now experiencing a new chapter in my life. The past 7 years of my life and all the time Creed was there for me throughout it means so much to me and it's connected with unforgettable memories. I met some really great people along the way, had a ton of fun and also learned about patience thanks to a dear old friend called KZRD Oldmine. Every time I played Proclimbing, I felt a powerful force pull me in deeper and not want to let go. My enjoyment while playing this map from the first encounter until the last has been unparalleled. A few weeks ago I decided to quit KZ and I understood that when I beat Proclimbing it would be for the last time. It was because I knew what was coming once the map was beaten that I wish the process would drag on for as long as possible. I was in reality filled with joy after every fail, I wanted to savor every remaining moment. Alas, every tale has its ending, whether we are prepared for it or not. Godspeed, my friends.